Is it? I haven't got my timetable. Of course, I can always go back to... Mike's bound to know. He's an efficient little chap. Where is he? Ah, Mike, do you know where we're supposed to be at ten? What? Aren't we supposed to be attending some lecture this morning? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Well, what? Uh, where? Tutorial with Loftus. Ah, oh, thanks. I'd completely forgotten. Forgotten what? <laughs> Getting a bit absent-minded, isn't it? Loftus? Lecture? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yes. Have you done that essay for him? Of course. Damn, I mean, you've written a hell of a lot, haven't you? Yes, well, it's the same essay I wrote for him last year. Oh. And the year before that. A borada, shoe boy. Pardon? It's Welsh. Is it? Ah, <laughs> oh, bloody hell, Collier's dropped out. <laughs> ah, Michael, he's a big chance. Beat him against St Mary's kick-off, three o'clock. Uh, no. No? What do you mean, no? It's a gateway to fame, boy. Oh. No, I can't. I'm meeting someone. Ah, oh, come on, Michael, please. You're please. wasting your time, Hugh. He's been acting very strangely this morning. Mm. Absent-minded. Off his food at breakfast. Oh, it's hardly surprising the way you cooked the pottage. Ah, it seems a pity to <laughs> waste those leftover beans. Yes, he's strangely euphoric, too. Yes, and going deaf. Oh, no, it can't be. What? Pre-senile dementia? Worse, much worse. It can't be. Yes, I'm afraid it is. Not. That poor little blight is in love. Oh! <laughs> Mike! Michael, speak to us! What? Oh, forget it. Come on, we'll be late for lofters. <laughs> Cheers. Get up. Oh, we needn't have rushed. He's not here yet. Oh, come on, Mike. Who's the lucky girl? What's her name? I don't know. Oh, come on. Valerie. Valerie something. I don't know. Oh, Valerie something. Touch of the Errol Flynn's. Are you seeing her again, or uh, don't you want to spoil anything? Oh, yes. I'm meeting her this afternoon in the park. Ah, uh, smooth operator. What's that? My essay for Loftus. Oh, God. Don't say you haven't done it. I haven't done it. <laughs> I made all the notes for it, and I was going to write it up last night, but I went to that party instead. What am I going to do? Morning. Oh, morning, morning, sir. My God, I've had brighter work than that in the mortuary. <laughs> right, let's get down to work. The pharyngeal pouch is right. Yes, sir. And do you know anything about the pharyngeal pouch is wearing? Yes, sir. Did you write an essay on the subject? Yes, sir. And you, Clark? Oh, yes, yes I recognise it. <laughs> and what about you, Upton? Upton? Yes, sir? Is he with us? He's not quite himself this morning, sir. Really? Then who is he? Errol. What? Oh, nothing, sir. Hmm. Would you read your essay to us, uh, Upton? Me, sir? You, sir, whoever you are. Now, sir? Now, sir, if not sooner. The developmental importance of the pharyngeal pouches is extremely, uh, important. Let me see, <laughs> Let me see it, please. I, I did make the notes, sir. Those are the notes. Obviously. But the next time you have to do an essay for Lofty on Friday, <laughs> I suggest you write it on Thursday. And on paper. Are you busy this afternoon? No, sir. You are now. Write me that essay and bring it at four o'clock. Oh, no, sir. What? Oh, well, I can't, sir. I promised her. I mean, I, I, I'm going out this afternoon, sir. I, I, I'm going somewhere. I see. And where are you going? Your grandmother's funeral? Uh, yes, sir. I beg your pardon? <laughs> yes, sir, I am. I'm going to my grandmother's funeral. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Upson. I didn't realise. Oh, that's all right, sir. She was incredibly old. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I was being flippant. Oh, don't worry about it, sir. I thought it was rather funny. Yeah. <laughs> Well, all right, you'd better bring me the essay first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. In the meantime, Clark, read us your essay, will you? Oh, certainly, sir. <clears throat> the Developmental Importance of the Pharyngeal Pouches. <clears throat> Chapter One. <laughs> the lateral walls and floor of the cranial part of the early foregut are much altered by the development of the pharyngeal pouches in this region. These pouches first appear as grooves which extend vertically across or towards the midline. A 
A comparative study of the developmental history of the pharynx shows that... Lovely afternoon. Hi, then. Um, shall I see you tomorrow? Same time, same place? Uh, I'll call you. Hi, then. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Hi, then. I don't suppose... Yes? I don't suppose you'd like some tea. Oh, yes, I would. I like tea. Come yes. on, then. Tea. Great. Just a minute. That'll 
be Mummy and Daddy. Oh, I can't get it to... Oh, hello, dear. Hello. This is Michael. <laughs> And did Valerie have a good time at your grandmother's funeral? Yes, fine, thank you. Did you enjoy it, Valerie? Yes, it was all right. I always think young people today are so lucky. There's so many exciting things they can get up to. Yeah. <laughs> of course, when I was a girl, my young men rarely thought of anything more thrilling than dragging me around the park. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we, we cut through a park this afternoon, didn't we, Valerie? It was nice, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I won't ask what you did for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> oh, good, yeah, good. Didn't go to the pictures, did you, or the zoo? No. Um, would you like Oh, to? I should think Valerie's heartily sick of the zoo. Roger always used to take you to the zoo, didn't he, dear? Mummy. Ah. Um, d -d 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 could you pass the sugar, somebody? Upton, pass the sugar. <laughs> to Mrs. Lofters, Upton. Oh. Sorry, sir. Uh, <laughs> Are you enjoying studying medicine, Michael? Yes, it's great fun. Yeah. <laughs> See, Valerie didn't tell us you were a medical student. Mummy. Well, naturally, we discourage her from seeing too many medical students. Oh? Oh, I know you're not all rowdy, vulgar, beer-drinking ruffians. <laughs> Obviously. But, uh, well, you know, these little romances have a habit of developing into something a bit more serious. Oh, yes, they, they do. And if the subject of, uh, well, marriage were ever to occur... Yes? Well, Valerie's father and I could never dream of letting her marry a medical student. Or even a doctor. Mummy, really? Well, not until you're 21, dear. Then, if you want to, you can run off with a coal black chimney sweep and we couldn't stop you. <laughs> so, naturally, we wouldn't approve. But uh, why not? Well, I'm sure some chimney sweeps are very nice. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, why shouldn't Valerie marry a medical student? Oh, my dear boy, don't you realize a doctor's wife has a terrible time? Demands at all hours of the night. <laughs> Poor girl never sees her husband. When she does, he's dog-tired, or drinking with his friends and talking the most appalling shop. But are you married? A... Well, so I should know what I'm talking about, shouldn't I? Now, would you like some music? Upton, I think you've an essay to write by tomorrow. Oh, we can wait. <laughs> <laughs> Your essay? Yes, well, I'd better go. Um, goodbye, Valerie. Um, Mrs. Loftus. Goodbye, Michael. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll take that. Goodbye. Sir. See you tomorrow. See Michael out, dear. You mustn't take any notice of Mummy. She was only joking. Going out to see my friends for a drink. And talk appalling shop. <laughs> goodbye, sir. First thing tomorrow morning. Don't forget. Goodbye, Mrs. Loftus. Oh, goodbye, Michael. And, oh, by the way, there's no chance of Valerie ever becoming a doctor's wife. Oh, good. Because, if necessary, I'd be prepared to give up my medical career. <laughs> Look, Dad, I've told you how I feel, and that's how I feel, and I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Mike, Mike, you can't give up your medical career. I mean, what am I going to tell the chaps at the golf club? Dean's going to be terribly upset. Now, look here. Oh, good Lord, Mike, I was young. Michael, will you please stop packing? You're making me feel nervous. Look, Dad, why don't you just sit down? What? <laughs> oh, no, another lodger. Duncan, <laughs> meet my father. Hello. Is he staying? No, 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 no. Mike is moving out. What? 
Oh, you can't do that. What about the rent? He's giving up his medical career. Really? Lucky devil. What happened? His father died, did he? Left you his millions, has he? Phew. <laughs> Dr. Upton. Whoops, sorry. I regret to say Michael is considering marriage. What? Well, I knew he was sick, but I didn't know he was at death's door. <laughs> Look, uh, Mike, I, I know she means a lot to you, but... Well, she's I only mean, a bloody totty, isn't she? She is not a totty. <laughs> oh, suck him. You know how serious he gets. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He means it, you know. He actually means it. Oh, dear. I don't even know who the girl is. Oh, Valerie something. Yeah, we should just have to put him off her, won't we? Yes, but how? <laughs> he's so young. He's, he's so impetuous. Or her off him. I got it! Got what? Don't you worry, sir. You leave it to us. Really? Ah, yes. Don't you worry, sir. We'll save him, I suppose. <laughs> uh, please do try it. Now, look here. I thought I might write a letter to the dean about it. Do you think that might help at all? I can't do any harm, sir. What are you talking about? Yeah. Why does the dean always hand his problems on to me? Good God. Valerie? Yes? I think you'd better hear this. It's from Upton's father. Michael's? As I expect you know, my son has got himself involved with some slip of a girl. That's you. And he's told me he has resolved to give up medicine and get married. Valerie! Why don't you tell us these things? It's not true. Oh, I hope it wasn't what I said about... Oh, shush. Obviously, it'd be tragic if he were to abandon his career for some flippity jibber. That's a bit strong. <laughs> I'm sure, Dean, a few words of wisdom from you would make him see sense. <laughs> Good luck in the hospital cup. Oh, honestly. Yours, Dr. Thing. Well, Valley, can we look forward to having Upton as a son-in-law? Of course not, Daddy. I've only known him a few days. I'm not really that keen on him. Oh, I thought he was rather nice. You don't want him to wreck his career, do you? No, dear. Well, we do need doctors, you know. They may not make very good husbands, but they do have other uses. <laughs> Valerie, I think you'd better go and see young Upton and break it off. You wouldn't mind, would you, dear? Well, it would be a bit difficult, but I suppose I'll have to. What'll I tell him? Well, whenever I wanted to get rid of an unwanted young man, <laughs> and there were many, <laughs> I always used to say that they were not experienced enough for me. If you do that nowadays, they'll think you're making them an offer. <laughs> well, tell him you're pregnant or something. That should shock him. Daddy, that's the most dreadful, callous thing I've ever heard. I won't have to go that far. I'll manage. How could you? Well, it always used to put me off. <laughs> Hello, Michael? Michael, I must talk to you. Valerie. Hello, Michael. For you. Oh. Can I take your coat? No, no, thank you. I can't stop long. Oh. Sit down. Oh, well, I'm going to. Please. All right. Michael. Yes? Michael, I've Shh. something... Hey. Oh, hello, Janet. Oh, it's not Janet. I thought it was Janet. No, no, Janet's the blonde. No, that's Anne. Anne? No, Anne's the one with the vats. Bloody fantastic, like waterways. Uh. <laughs> no, you're not Anne, are you? No, no. Oh, ah, ah, I know what it is. Don't tell me. He's spoken a lot about you. Uh, Alice. Jenny. Lottie. Nah, no, she's the black one, you fool. Give in. <laughs> this is Valerie. Oh, oh, a new one. Well done, Michael. Oh, by the way, you left this in the bathroom. Oh, I wouldn't lose it. I don't think Fiona would like that. <laughs> Oh, well, we must go, but uh, by the way, uh, don't forget you're making up a foursome tonight, will you? You got Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I hope we didn't interrupt anything. We usually do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, any developments in that breach of promise? That's enough. <laughs> they were joking. That was obvious. Oh, you didn't believe that about oh, all those good girls? Lord, no. After all, Daddy did tell me he's never seen you within 20 yards of a girl. Oh, well, that's not true. Hey, what does he think I am? I'm not, you know. Well, maybe you not. Know. No, of course not, Michael. But, well, this is what I came to say. You are a little inexperienced, aren't you? Oh, well, I'll get better. I've got books. <laughs> no, Michael. You see, what I'm trying to say is, I am rather older than you. Only three months? Yes, but, well, girls mature rather more quickly than boys. And, well, this is what I really came to say. I do find you emotionally a little bit immature. Oh. 
and to an older woman like me, you do seem to take things a bit too seriously. But I am serious. Oh, I know. In fact, I've never said this before, but I think I love you. Oh, no. I do, I do. But I'm no good for you, Michael. Oh, you're so good. You're the best person in the world. Am I? There have been others, you know. I don't care. Lots of others. Well, they don't matter now. There's one or two now. Well, I can wait. They can't love you as much as I do. Don't you mind? I don't mind about anything. Oh. I just want to make you love me, and I want to marry you, and have your children. You can't. <laughs> oh, I mean, you have mine. No, Michael. Don't you like children? Yes, yes. Um, in fact, that's something else I haven't told you. <laughs> You're not? Yes, I'm pregnant. <laughs> But who? Oh, um, a sailor. Are you going to marry him? Yes. Well, that's worse than being a doctor's wife. But I like the sea very much. And I'm going away quite soon. So I won't be able to see you again. So that's it then? Yes. Well, there's no point in talking about it, is there? No. I'd be made to look a right fool, haven't I? I'm sorry. I suppose I am emotionally immature. Don't. Oh, no. It's true. Well, I'd better get back to being a medical student. Back to ruddy exams. Ruddy lofters. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, goodbye, Valerie. Thanks for everything. Where are you going? I'm going to get some experience. Oh, Michael. No. Don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Ah, she must have thrown him out. And never <laughs> dork on my da step again. <laughs> I, just... I think she's crying. Ah, well, it serves her right trying to seduce our little virgin. <laughs> Do you think she was really fond of him? I found a bloody up, don't know me daft. <laughs> Probably trying to trap a, a wild lung medical student. <laughs> they can't tame us. Do you think we went too far? <laughs> no. <laughs> she not ball, isn't she? <laughs> Dear. <sighs> Poor little thing. <laughs> no, no. Don't cry. Come on. We go for a nice long walk, and you can tell me all about it. Eh? Thank you. You're you're very nice. <laughs> uh, Hugh.